Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is the Face Strategist and in this video I will show you a walkthrough for the quest Hall in the Wall. Now you start this quest in Vault 81 and it's best to actually do give blood to the doctor. The doctor is located over here near the classroom. I'll leave a link in the description for here kitty kitty so you can know uh, where about the classroom is you're just going to exit your power armor open the sliding door and you're going to talk to Dr. Forsyth okay then you're just going to sit over here and you'll be donating some blood then go to here kitty kitty and the quest hole in the wall should resume okay. Okay. Uh, but if you don't want to do the quest here, kitty kitty, just travel to Sanctuary or Spectacle Island and stuff like that, and you'll actually be able to uh, continue with the quest because some time needs to pass. Okay, I've waited for two days, so from the elevator, we're just gonna head back down to the doctor. And the quest should actually progress even further. Because now he should... Yeah, the kid is dying. That's great. Uh, mm -hmm. <coughs> Okay, and you'll actually start the quest hole in the wall. Now, I would recommend that you actually do the other quests listed in the description if you plan on keeping the cure for yourself. Now, this is tricky. You can't get bit by any mole rat because if you do, you will gain a permanent debuff that will decrease your health by 10 or 20 points. I forgot for how many points exactly but it will decrease your health now there is this old terminal here with a master's lock and you can read the technician's note etc but he will open this up and you will go inside here now the main thing is don't get bit by anything you can do this by just killing them rather quickly but if you do get bit and you do want to give the cure to Austin then you're fucked, you will have that debuff for the rest of your game. Now, if I get bit or don't get bit, I will give the cure for Austin. Then I will actually show you... See, ah, there we go, I got bit. GG game over. Now I actually have the debuff. More red disease, max HP minus 10. See? And that is the debuff. And another false debuff, that's the permanent debuff. And now you're basically fucked. You lose, in fact, you lose 10 HP of your maximum HP, and that you can't get back. No amount of steam packs will really be able to restore it, nothing. So if you get bit, you're fucked. That's basically it. So don't get bit, get good. <laughs> that's about it. Now this quest is also important because you will be able to get the medicine bobblehead. Uh, one of the magazines I believe. And you'll also be able to get Curie as a companion. But just go over here, then to the right. Uh, it's very important that you don't get bit. But if you got bit, then you got got. And that fucking sucks. Uh, I will actually give the medicine, like I said to the kid. Normally, if this was my normal playthrough, I would try not to get bit. You know what I mean? And I would actually keep the medicine. Because it is useful. You can use it for a number of other things. But I just don't see why I should give it to the kid, since I am the main character. But that's just my philosophy. See if you run out of ammo. 
and it's enough for them just to scratch you and you'll get the debuff and it annoys me that I have a constant debuff I don't like that at all this is a video game and here see this is observation you can actually listen to what they say but I will show you how you can actually get it as well I'm just repeating myself like an idiot so there we go we're just gonna go here there's a bunch of other junk here that you can loot and a bunch of mole rats so what I would advise is patience I mean I give good advice but I can take my own but that's mostly because I don't care I'm on PC if you're on Xbox and you get bit you have no other choice than to give the medicine to Austin and you'll have a permanent 10 HP debuff so you're screwed in that regards but if you're on PC there is a way out it's called console commands and just by watching this video you will see where they are coming from so I would advise just stand, shoot a little bit, they will come to you, kill them all and don't get fucking bit okay now that we're here we're actually going to go to the right there is this expert expertly locked door but there is a terminal password located right down over here but that will cause more of these motherfuckers to actually spawn and I think it's stupid that you can get two doses but basically the entire premise of the uh, of this world was to design a cure that can cure anything and I guess that is the password let me just get some of those microscopes now we're just going to go back over here it sucks but you know that is Voltec in a nutshell come on come on come on you stupid useless piece of danky doodle doodle shite there we go give me that I'll give the cure for him and here we are you can get a Voltec uh, lab coat what else is in here there's Curie where do you detect intruders there we go Yeah, yes! I am author. There we go. Of course you lie through your teeth. Mm -hmm. There we go. Uh, again here is the medicine bubble head and the terminal and you know lore etc etc and you can just live through this elevator here and you can return through this way for the bubble head if you forgot it or something like that but I'm just going to send Curie away from here I'm gonna send her to sanctuary because there is a quest involving her so I don't want to uh, fuck that up so just exit the elevator we have this terminal here use it remote door open and kabam So just exactly to the left is the thingamajig. Now if you go over here and you type in Vault 81 for Okay. And you go with page up perk mm, cell Cell. Mm, okay, help. Cure for spell. Cure addictions. 
there we go and you go into player that add item zero zero five five f ten one you will get a vault cure and now this is a pretty nice item holy shit it's buggy yeah, yeah that's because of the elevator I gotta take a look at it now it will increase your <laughs> it will actually give you 160 percent HP that's pretty awesome so that's the code for it I'll leave that in the description otherwise don't get bit because if you get bit you get got simple as there we go now go down then to the right I already did tell the story got a magazine alright alright now go here to the right there we go only one and it's fine you keep it give it to us Ah, he took two of them. Fucking idiot. Okay, let me actually use it on myself. You see, if you use it, Walt 81 Cure, HP plus 160%. But I think that will only last for a certain while. So just stab him in the ass. Yeah, well, did anyone kill his one off? And yeah, you don't get the debuff anymore. You removed it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah, 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 fuck off. Uh, yeah, that's it.